What up, motherfuckers? We're back with another episode of World 1-1 Podcast. As always, you can find us at our home on Podbean at world one dot podbean dot com all spelled out all one word you can of course also catch us on google play music itunes uh spotify uh check out the awesome youtube channel with our ever expanding content uh the delightful twitch channel where we're streaming live right to fuck now uh you can also uh like our facebook page and keep up with all the uh, retarded shenanigans that we we partake in and uh we've also got one of them our twitter things so, yeah, I think I caught it all in one fell swoop real good this time. I do words goods. So. Ha, uh, ha, ha, yeah, ha, ha, ha. Thanks. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Never going to happen. <clears throat> As always, I am your host, Larry the Bearded Wonder. Joining me this week is Josh the LeGru. Hello. And Kathy behind the board. Hey, how's everybody doing? Uh, so, uh, it's been a bitch of a week, and I'm still playing catch-up. I am literally still scrubbing and editing last week's episode as we record this week's episode. So I know everything is horrifically behind, and I'm hoping to try and finally get it all caught back up and on schedule, uh, this week. So with any luck, you'll hear this on time, uh, the day after fucking Valentine's Day for a fucking change. Um... Outside of that, let's uh, let's just jump straight to oh my god, video games. Uh, Kathy, you first. The fuck have you been playing? Uh, so this week I jumped back into Super Metroid. I got to oh god, what's the level? The one with the M, the water. Meridia. Meridia, thank you. Um, just been playing that and just kind of trying to find all the secrets. Nothing big on that. Uh, did get back into Hades. Played just some more of that one night. I was just Wanted to just do a smash, <laughs> just smash and grab and do whatever because um, didn't really have any urge to play anything else. Still playing Fortnite like always. Um, but I did download and start playing Apex Legends, the big new Battle Royale game that came out, uh, what was that, on the 4th of February. What's and, happening in the world of Shooty Bang Bang? Well, it's definitely a lot of fun. It's some one of my viewers said it's like Overwatch meets Fortnite meets PUBG meets uh, Call of Duty. So it's definitely taking a lot of, I think, what people complained about in those games, mashed it together and retorked it to make it um, into their own version of a battle royale. That's um, maybe the hottest new dance crave, the retwork. They don't do emotes. They do. I guess, how do I put it, uh, like, quotes and stuff, so there's things that these characters they will say. quote. They say, yeah. Yeah, that they say, they but talk. there's no emotes. They do skins, so different colors to the weapons, different colors to their outfits and everything. This is a class-based system, so there's only a, there's only eight characters. You start with six, you can unlock the other two by gaining money, using money and stuff, or in-game loot that you gain, um... Trying to remember what all the terms were. I, I wrote it down and then I lost my notes. But um, it, it, it's definitely, that's where the Overwatch, I guess, comes in. And then there is no fall damage, which was is always a big deal in Fortnite. It, it's just, it's a first-person shooter. You're in teams of three. And you just go around doing the exact same stuff you do in Fortnite, except you can't build. And... I think you only have 60 players on the field instead of 100, so it's it's definitely different. I found I'm better at third-person shooters than I am at first-person shooters. This is driving me nuts. I'm still learning the weapon system, trying to figure out which weapons I like. I'm not used to having to add, have all these add-ons, so I don't know what's better, what makes my weapons stronger. But right, unlike right. Fortnite, it did not take me three months to get my first win. I actually have two wins. So it's definitely um, it's definitely an interesting game. There are a few issues I have with it. One, the training. There is a training session. It works really well. It really helps you practice all the weapons, figure out how they work, what their pattern is for their shots, which is very consistent, unlike Fortnite, which can be all over the place. But each weapon has their own uh, pattern for their um, recoil. Once you learn that, you can adjust. But that takes time. Um, 
each character has their own set of special abilities that um, that they can be used to, like the one character I like to play as Wraith, she can make portals, she can um, make herself invisible. Well, and then why away. hasn't Valve hired her? <laughs> oh my god. Um, <laughs> she I'm doesn't still have, waiting on she another does, sequel. She does not need a portal gun to make the portals, so she just does it with her, you know, her abilities. Um, so each of the characters has their own set of three different special abilities. The thing I don't like about the training is I haven't figured out how to play as the other characters to practice their each individual abilities. The training only allowed me to play as Lifeline, who is a medic, and I learned how to do her healing abilities. But so I'm gotten good with her on those. But my character, the characters I really like, I can't practice as because I'd like to learn how they each work. But it's okay. Now, the other good thing about this is you can play whoever you want. You don't have to base your team of three off of different classes. So if you all want to be the same type of class, you still have, you'll still be able to win and you don't have to base, you don't have to try to set up what class, like a specific class system to make your team the most effective. It really, that does not matter. You don't it just, have to diversify. Exactly. Sorry, I couldn't think of the word. Yes. So that's See, kind of diversity cool. isn't that important, kids. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, whatever. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. The, the, the other issue I don't like is sometimes you land in, it's so hard to find a weapon. Whereas, like in Fortnite, you land, you're guaranteed you're going to find a weapon. It may not be the best weapon, but you will find a weapon. In this game, I could open up four of their supply crates and find no weapons and get eliminated in no time flat. So that that's something they need to work on. But otherwise, I mean, it's it's a fun game. I definitely recommend checking it out if you haven't. I mean, it is free, and that's always good. Um, I wish they also had a solo mode where you could go in and practice against bots so that, again, you could learn the technique, learn the island a little better. Because right. when I drop in with a group, because really you want to drop in with your group. You don't want to separate. You want the three of you together. The problem is the people I play with all want to drop in the hot zones. And I would there's areas on the map that I know we could go to that won't have as many people. So I can spend time looting and finding better stuff. But, you know, whatever. It, it is what it is. But I, it is a game. It has definitely taken... Um, the Twitch channels by storm. If you look, it has definitely overtaken Fortnite. Fortnite has lost a lot of viewers because all of the big names are playing it. However, the reason why they started playing it was because um, I think it was EA paid them mm -hmm. to play their games for two days. Uh, that was the big news. So that's why it has been played consistently on the Twitch channels. I'm curious to see how long it will last. Um, I know people are saying this is the death of Fortnite. I don't think that's quite the case because Fortnite is a different game. Like I said, the difference is third person versus first person. I know a lot of people who play Fortnite because they can't do the first person shooter games because it makes them sick, motion sickness, all this stuff. So I don't think it's the death of Fortnite, but I do think Fortnite's going to be starting to slow down a lot. And I think this this is just the new Battle Royale game. So, But it is a lot of fun. Um with climbing, sliding, running. There's so much that you can do. Definitely check it out. Play it. Give it a try. And don't just play it once and then quit. <laughs> play it multiple times. That's the one thing I've learned is that I've gotten better and better as I play it. And as I start to learn more what the weapons do and how to what my what my favorite weapons are, it's becoming better to play. So, But that's it. That's all I've really been playing this week. All right. So, Kathy, you... Mm -hmm. you said something that popped a question into my head sure so i'm going to uh detour for a second here and we're gonna play a quick game of uh lightning round oh, um shoot. yep that's right shooty bang bang um so if you could play any game that you've already played for the first time again oh right now what game? right now mm-hmm if I could play any game for the first time. Mm. 
Ooh, there's so many that I would want to play again for the first time. You get to have the virgin experience with one game all over again. Oh, God, there are so many games. Um, geez, what would it be? I think, oh, man, I, I think for me it would be The Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. Okay. I would like to have that, I would like to go back to that because that one game had such an impact on me as a, you know, teenager and really solidified my love of video games to go back and have that moment again. Just to, to, to remember that feeling of this is something. It was like it was playing that game is when I realized what video games were heading towards and where I think I realized the impact that video games were going to have on our society. And it was a beautiful game. The music was incredible. It was a fun gameplay. And the story really... It it really showed how somebody could take an image on a screen and make you really immersive, immersed in that story. And yes, as games have gotten more realistic and you know there are games like Skyrim that I love um the Breath of the Wild all of those that would be great to play again but really you know and that are more the realistic and what they are you know more um elaborate but really going back to the core game is well, that's where I think I really saw the shift into games as a toy to games as an art and to have that experience again would be freaking amazing, especially as an adult. Okay. And Josh? Same question? Or... Oh, of course. <laughs> okay. Um, I think I would play, to be honest, I think I would play the original Super Mario Brothers. Mm. Because that was a game that really hooked me into playing, first of all, really hooked me into playing Nintendo games. Second of all, really was the game I played in the arcade and really got me wanting to, when they came out for it, or Nintendo really wanted me to get a home console. So even though I had like, you know, an Atari and stuff like that, but this was like the arcade experience at home, which was super cool. Okay. Um, I'm torn because it's really almost one game instead of two, but... Uh, in the interest of fairness, um, Portal 2. Okay. The, Do that. Uh, no, I'm, I'm going to nix that. Portal 1, not 2. Uh, I, I will forever love and get tremendous enjoyment and glee and joy out of the, the humor and the jokes in Portal but something is forever lost knowing the answers to all the puzzles. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To which that's that in combination with experiencing and hearing those jokes for the first time <laughs> is what puts that over something like Super Metroid for me in this. Mm -hmm. Because I, I I can still go back to that and still just kind of mentally drift off and get lost and wander in that world. And it, it doesn't take me long to get my bearings again, but I can still at least have that. I, I can still on my own kind of momentarily create, recreate that sense of, wonder and exploration for the first time granted it's 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 a fleeting feeling which is sad but i would nix knowing the answers to all the puzzles and having the joy of figuring them out again for the first time so 
There you go. That's the lightning round, kids. Josh, <laughs> the fuck have you been playing? Okay, so I've been playing for my 3DS. I've been that playing got real little... melancholy for a second. God, yeah, <laughs> real, real re- introspective. <laughs> um, I've been playing for my 3DS, uh, Legend of Zelda: a Link Between Worlds, which is I'm really starting to get into that a little more than I thought I would. Um, I'm really liking it. Just kind of in between play sessions with that. Um, I'm playing. I'm so on my Switch. I'm playing. Let's see, playing a lot of Mario Kart. Playing some Mario Party. Yay. Played some Hollow Knight. Actually, quite a bit of Hollow Knight. Um, Ready for some Hornet DLC? Yeah. Oh my yeah, gosh, I'm so excited. Goofa pumped! I know, I was pumped about seeing that. That's going to be great. Um, what else? What I... do you think? Is it going to be prequel, sequel, or a side story? Ooh. I have no clue. We'll find out more tomorrow. I don't, I don't know. It could be either. It could be all of it. I mean, it might it might just be like, like you said, like a side story. It just kind of goes time and time with the game, maybe or whatever. I don't know. Right. You can find out what the hell Hornet was doing when she wasn't interacting with the Wanderer. Right. That's kind of what I'm thinking. That it might it, that would be a cool way to go. It'd mm-hmm. also be cool to see her origin story too. Right. Yeah. Right. Like who she is. Mm-hmm. You know how she came into being, and right up until when she met when the, the Wanderer. Wanderer. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I almost don't want that story, at least not inside of the game. I, I kind of want that as, uh, I, I think I talked about this before, but I, I genuinely believe that Hollow Knight is ripe for a uh, a Netflix anime, or a Netflix animated oh, series. Oh, okay. So instead of doing, you would rather see that as the anime instead of uh <laughs> And I, I'm, I'm going to... Nix the fact that I said anime. I want specific, not not specifically anime, but I do want an animated series, mm-hmm. and it should not. It the the whole series should be the entire preempt creation, rise, and subsequent fall of Hallow Nest as a kingdom. Oh, uh, that would be cool. And the series would end where where the, the game where the where game, like the game starts. starts. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Because there's so much. Yeah, they made a good world yeah. there. So. Yeah, there's so much just lore crafting in there that's so subtle, and it makes you want to know everything. And they won't give you everything in there. You just right. can't. You can dig and you can pry and you can get a lot, but you'll never get everything. And I want to see right. it. <laughs> I want to see the Pale King come in and subdue all the different lands of hallow nest and bring them under a single rule. And I want to see the, the creature, you know, the, the denizens of uh, deep nest go fuck you and fuck your rule <laughs> too, because they're the ones that didn't succumb to the hive mind, you know, right. and the, the encapsulation of the radiance and the, you know, the, the, what, what could only be conceived, I guess, is a, a deal with the devil or a deal with the void to try and create the, the actual, perfect pure hollow vessel to contain the radiance and get it the fuck out so that the hot so that the pale king could rule right i want to see that that's got fucking <laughs> drama that there you go netflix <laughs> <laughs> netflix, on, netflix hulu right, amazon else. well netflix or hulu don't go to amazon i don't have amazon prime anymore <laughs> amazon's done some great stuff with their mm-hmm. own yeah oh yeah. they have i mean i just don't want to have to spend the money to get Amazon Prime to see it. <laughs> it really does feel more like Netflix's cup of tea, though. It does. It the does. The fact that Netflix has done a shit ton of originals in terms of animation as well. Well, it was Which... such a good job with uh, Castlevania. So I think <coughs> yes. And there's, also, and there's also another one to check out. Um, uh, High Score Girl. or it, it's I think it's called High Score Girl. It's about... Um, a guy who plays video game Street Fighter and his competition with another girl who plays it. So definitely it's kind of a fun gaming one. Just giving a shout out to that. Actually, the other one, and I'm probably going to catch hell for fucking saying it, but it starts off fucking terrible, but it ended in a, in just such a manner. I, I still haven't watched the second season of it yet that I actually wanted to see the second season was Reboot. I loved, I loved Reboot as a child. I never Fucking saw it. great show. 
Oh my god. So, so fantastic. That no, being I'm... said, okay, so Reboot I gotta catch was... up. <laughs> yeah. I'm the same way. Don't... <laughs> so Reboot uh, was one of the first uh, major CGI uh, TV series out there. Um, it, this was right about the same time as Beast Wars. If I remember correctly, so okay. I mean their 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 CGI was pretty on par because it's it's that that day and age. Um, but no, uh, reboot was a, a great series because it all it it all took place inside of this computer, and all the characters lived in the city of Mainframe, and they they were all little sprites that lived in this computer, and every once in a while, uh, the user, which is you know to them kind of this godlike character. That they never really saw, or, uh, you know, would would boot up a game, and this huge block would come down over a chunk of the city of Mainframe, and if the if the uh, the citizens of Mainframe didn't beat the user in the game, then they'd all be nullified and turned into little nulls, which are like little slugs, and so like uh, sort of. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ki- I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> to a degree. But it, just kidding. It, I'm just it, kidding. It, it, Don't it, get mad. No, it, it, it could get <laughs> a legit baseline. That, that's not unreasonable. No, but, but the show had so much humor and fucking quirk to it, and it was adorable. And then uh, you know, you you have your outstanding villains. There there was Megabyte, who was you know just kind of the 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 uh, the Doctor Claw kind of you know I'll get you. I will rule mainframe, and then. You find out a little bit later down the line that uh, Megabyte has a a sister uh, hexadecimal who's completely off her fucking nut, um, just totally batshit insane, and she's got a thing for the hero of the series to boot, which is just fantastic. She's got a total crush on Bob the Guardian. <laughs> um, yeah, it's fucking great. Hex Hex is just the the best. Um, but you find out later too uh, that Hex and Megabyte aren't just brother sister. They were originally one person and got split apart. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, interesting. So it's, uh, but later down the line too, uh, Bob ends up leaving Mainframe and going off into the net, which is its own kind of you know uncharted waters type thing, you know. It, it very much plays into the whole uh, joke of you know surfing the web and pirates in the open seas and everything. So it's no, it's a phenomenal fucking show. And the the reboot of reboot on Netflix, um, you you honestly have to get to the very last episode of the first season mm-hmm. in order to find it. But I, I'm watching this going. What the fuck does any of this have to do with reboot? This is all fucking horseshit. <laughs> Who the fuck thought this was okay? And uh, they they made it right with the last episode because in the very last episode they tied it all together. They brought it back to mainframe. They brought back Bob and Enzo and Dot. And I just oh I squealed with fucking glee when that happened. <laughs> so I'm like, all right, we're okay. It's it's okay. Never mind. We're good now. So which that now reminds me, I need to go back and watch the second season of that because <laughs> I, I got to see if they actually kept it up or if they went back to doing shit. So, anyway, cool. yeah, there's, there's reboot. That's a thing. All right, now <laughs> I add that to my list of things I got to watch that I don't have time for. I don't know if the original series is streamed anywhere oh no 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 but uh, you know the netflix i'm talking about what you said it's not netflix not watch the netflix one without having watched the original i'm sure i can find it on wikipedia and get the synopsis or i'll just have you you know go through it with me the synopsis even further in detail somebody knows it actually I, I need to find out if uh, it's actually on Netflix because I'm going to be absolutely baffled if they they did like their new run of reboot on Netflix, but didn't pick up the rights to the original series. 
Oh. That kind. Yeah. It was, yeah, it could happen. Uh, yeah. So. Yeah, it's possible. You never know. There's a TV movie, I'm sure, and all that other stuff with it. Um, let's see. Yeah, sorry. I didn't mean to. That's, a, that's okay. You rail that one, but I totally. That's okay. It. So I ended on Hollow Knight. Yay. Um, and then I did just put in Axiom Verge real quick. Didn't really get very far with that. And um, installed uh, Atlas, Starlink Battle for Atlas. So I gotta, okay. I've got to get into that. I just haven't really had time to get into it yet, but I want to try that. So those are, and I didn't even get into my VR this week. So that's pretty much it. For, that's what I'm doing. Oh, that's sad. No VR? No, not this week. That reminds me, did you hear that uh, apparently um, people have gotten to a point where they're playing, uh, what is it, Beat Saber at like such a oh. high level that they had to go in and like fine tune it and tweak it to become even harder to keep up? I still want to play that game. That looks it so doesn't su- awesome. It doesn't surprise me. There's yeah. a, like a really core group of people that love that game, and they're playing it um, at such a high level. I, I mean, I, I can't even believe it, to be honest with you. Yeah. It, it doesn't surprise me, though. No. It, it doesn't. Because, like I mean, look like, at the DDR. I mean, Yeah, like Dance, I was just going to say Dance Dance Revolution, that people would just memorize everything on that, so. Oh, yeah. I mean, I had somebody I know when I was in grad school who was just amazing at that game. I could never figure out the pattern, though. And I'd watch his feet, and I'm like, ah! Right. <sighs> Anyhow. <clears throat> yeah. Off just, topic. Sorry. <laughs> I know, it's okay. The, for me, though, that's all I'm really playing this week. Okay. Um, I played this game called Life Sucks and Then You Die. Uh, and it, it definitely, I, I think I've put a solid, uh, seven consecutive days into it. Um, I've not stopped playing it. Uh, I've gotten very little sleep because this game keeps me up at all hours. Um, and it's fucking terrible. Two out of 10. Do not recommend. Aww. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's kind of it for me. So, um, I will be downloading some of the demos that uh, dropped on Switch today pertaining to the yes. uh, the Nintendo Direct that we got earlier today that we'll be talking about in the back half of the show right after the break. And we're back. So this is the back half of the show where uh, we either go into a deep dive, which we were actually going to do this week, until uh, some news came across the news desk. Um, so... Earlier today, as a matter of fact, so for anybody that's uh, watching this live, if you're not watching this live, and in theory, if it all goes according to plan, this will be up Friday, which means that it happened two days ago from when you're hearing this. Um, we got a Nintendo Direct uh, landed in our lap, uh, which was kind of fantastic. We we kind of made it all the way through January thinking, hoping, and expecting we were going to get one and didn't, and uh, all was kind of quiet on that front until basically yesterday and they're like hey here's that direct thing we've been uh talking about uh so it it was definitely nice to fucking uh hear something happening on that front again to start to get an idea of what uh 2019 is going to look like for for those of us uh that love and adore our switches um obviously the the internet has some some thoughts and some feelings because they always do um and so do we but guess what we have a show and most of the internet doesn't so that's rapidly changing so fuck everything uh but since it's my show uh that's what we're gonna do we're gonna fucking talk about opinions about this nintendo direct thing and uh kind of share with you some of the news that dropped out of that um so to kick it off uh we we got our first look at what had been long speculated at um, I was honestly kind of surprised they didn't cheap out and go the port route, but we've got an actual full-blown sequel for, uh, Super Mario Maker, uh, Super Mario Maker 2, um, mm-hmm. because that's definitely, uh, a name for a sequel. I, I just did not see that title coming. <laughs> I don't understand. 
holy fuck nuts, whoever the hell they paid for that did not get paid enough. But, <laughs> so, um, it, it looks to be pretty much exactly what, like, what you would expect out of uh, a sequel to Mario Maker. Um, more... More tiles, features, things you can do with all the characters, new power. They they showed the cat suit power in there. Um, Slope, slopes. Uh-huh, slopes, slopes. Definitely slopes. Thank Which God. Slope. People, yep. people wanted for a long time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I uh, I wasn't sure this whole thing was real, and so I looked it up on slopes.com. But, um... <laughs> <laughs> We need to get like a soundboard or something, so <laughs> to add to this. <laughs> get on that, Kathy. That's you. Uh, no, nah. what so. would I know how to do all that crap? That... Anyhow, you're the only reason <laughs> that shit works, anyway. So um, I'm not. I am not. Okay, whatever. <clears throat> you're the one running the board over here, and so uh, it's just for Twitch, not for anything yeah. else. <clears throat> but in any case, um, so there, there's definitely that. I, I'm not going to be happy though until I have all the various uh, power ups from Super Mario Brothers three. Yeah, yeah. they didn't show you know all of it, but they're promising many new elements. So let's mm. see what they do. And I, I, I'm not surprised we actually got the sequel because we needed it, just because the it was made for the Wii U. So right, uh, you know, it had to be a sequel, and they might as well yeah. have done it that way. Yeah. Well, I mean, nothing nothing stopped them fundamentally from taking the the framework like the the interface framework that they they're using here for the Switch and just re-sticking that onto Mario Maker 1, putting that out and then holding Mario Maker 2 for like an extra year. I guess. But that being said, props to not being uber money grubbing. I, I couldn't right. have faulted right. them if they had because, you know, there there's a reason that there's so many Wii U ports happening on Switch, and mm-hmm. it makes a lot of fiscal sense. You know, they've already spent the money to develop, design, games. create, develop, yeah. publish, yep. put them out there, and there just was not uh, a huge return on investment for that on the Wii, and it's a chance to, at a fairly minimal cost, try and recoup some of your your cost on that. And then potentially finally make a profit on some of those too, because let's face it, that just was not happening last gen for them. No, I mean with what twelve and a half million <coughs> we use, they're yeah, they they just didn't sell enough. Right, it's just boxed in. Yeah. Um, which speaking of boxes, we got our first look at a new box boy for Switch. Yeah. Box boy, box girl. Uh-huh. Uh huh. I don't know. I've never been a big one, fan. Oh. I know, I know it's going to be weird. I've never been a big fan of it, but I think it'll be okay. I'm going to go right out there and say legit, I have not played any of the Box Boy games, but they still look kind of entertaining and slightly quirky. I think with two players, it would actually be fun. Yeah. So I I could see this co-op being fun. With two players, I could see it having something of a snipper clip style appeal. Right, right. So you may lose relationships over this game. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I never lost relationships with Snipper Clips, dude. We just had, like, you, you just heard the funniest shit you've ever heard <laughs> flying out of mouths when multiple ple- multiple people were in a room playing Snipper Clips. Because right. it's fucking amazing. Right. It is a good game. So, um, God, what else do we have? There, there was uh, their extended look at Fire Emblem Three Houses. Yes. Mm-hmm. And they and that that got it delayed too, right? Uh-huh. But not it by wasn't much. a not yeah. I was much. gonna say that wasn't really a big delay though. No, and it didn't. It I think we're gonna have enough to hold us over, so I don't really even think that's gonna be a problem. Uh, no lie, that that definitely feels like a good summer game too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. It it did seem a little different than other Fire Emblem games, didn't it? It kind of to me anyway. Maybe I just wasn't really. See, I don't know enough much. about the series to, to really comment on, unfortunately. It just it was never my uh your cup of tea. My forte, yeah. Yeah. Okay. It wasn't my forte or I didn't play too much forte. of it. I didn't play too much of it, but uh from what I did play, it just seemed to be a little different. Mm. So I don't know if they're trying to like combine a couple of those games together and kind of make this game, you know? Right. We'll see. We'll see. 
I I will say I honestly spent the entire time watching the the Fire Emblem piece, going okay. So there's all these kingdoms, and they have these great big armies, and they're training you know all their all their officers and everything for the battlefield. And I'm going, what battlefield? Why? They're all training at the same place. They all just fight all the time. Yeah, like <laughs> why? Why? Why is there just random combat happening between these three kingdoms? This makes no fucking sense. Right, I hear you. No. And well, maybe they just don't want to ruin the story for you. I don't know. It just it. My brain looks at this and goes, "This does not compute." <laughs> There's well, no got, logic here. You got to learn at a school, and you got to do some special ed courses. Of Fire Emblem, where all the kingdoms just like war. We just fight all the time. Yeah, legit. That's kind of what it fucking seems like, and I don't fucking get it. But I don't know. Fair. Maybe that's Fair. just me. Hmm. So, um. We we got a uh, an updated look at uh, Yoshi's uh, crafted world, right? What'd mm-hmm. you think? What'd you think? I'm um, not into it. I'm downloading the demo. I'm gonna play the first level. I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can get into it. Okay. I, I, I'm kind of like want to. I want to try it anyway because the demo's yeah. free. Might as yeah. well try it and see yeah. if I can kind of it can kind of hook me a little bit. But I do admire Nintendo for their their way they can take a character that was just kind of like, you know, hey, he's Mario's buddy, and now we give him a whole new game, and everybody's just, you know, loving Mario's it. horse. Yeah, pretty much, <laughs> right? But it's he's just not a vehicle. A frog. He's, he's, a, he's a dinosaur and a kind of a frog put together. And don't worry, there's eggs, so it's all good. <laughs> you know? Hey, Piccolo, you're green, and you yeah. lay eggs. Yes. Are you a Yoshi? <laughs> yes, Goku. I'm a goddamn Yoshi. <laughs> I do it. I do think it, it's just it. Like my mom was funny because my mom is here this week and she was saying that looks like a good game for kids. <laughs> and I was like, I go, well, I think a lot of adults would probably play that too. I yep. said, you know. <laughs> yeah, like I, I played the hell out of some Yoshi's Woolly World when that came out a couple years ago, but yeah. um, I, I, I think Yoshi's Woolly World is where that that ended for me. Um, mm-hmm. Like I loved, I loved Kirby's Epic Yarn, but Kirby's Epic Yarn also had like a legit story that totally tied into the whole yarn crafty aesthetic thing. Woolly World did not. And I seriously don't expect there to be for Crafted World either. Okay. And, you know, it's it's fun to play with this cool aesthetic stuff, but give me a reason for it other than just because it looks fucking neat. Right. Otherwise, it's just kind of like we looked around the break room and we had these things <laughs> and we, we, we got bored on our lunch hour and we made this thing. You know, George had too much sake and he came up with this idea and... Uh-huh. We're gonna run with it. <laughs> I just yeah. never, I've never been a fan of the Yoshi. The only Yoshi game I like is Yoshi's Cookie, and that's about it. Mm. The Yoshi games just never. Right. That's why I didn't even like Super Mario World Two. Mm. Yoshi's Adventure. I just could not. It just yeah. I, I might try the demo just to say I tried it, but I, I don't. That's what I'm hopes. doing. I'm gonna try. I don't it. have high hopes. Yeah. I did like the what was it Yoshi's Island. DS? I think it was Yoshi's Island. Yeah, I believe so. I think you're right. Yeah. Yoshi's Island DS I really liked. But that was with, a, uh, a story, Mario. didn't it? It did. Yeah. No desire so. to play as a green dinosaur. Or a blue one, or a pink one, or a yellow, or red. Or a rainbow one. Or any other colors you can come up with, right? right. What about a Mario as... Kart? What about a Mario Kart? Come on. I never played as Yoshi on Mario Kart. Oh. It's always the yep. Koopa Troopa. Okay. Yeah. yeah, somebody tell me when the, the uh when the steering wheel from Mario Kart gets his own game. <laughs> <laughs> Just the steering wheel. Oh god. So what else? <laughs> what else is from Nintendo <laughs> Direct? <laughs> so and the one that nobody fucking saw coming, 
uh, Hellblade is coming to Switch. Yes. Mm-hmm. Holy shit. Yes. And if that was, I don't know if that was Switch footage or not, but if it was, it, it looked pretty good. Yeah. I have no idea either. Uh, all I know is I need to know if there's going to be a hard copy. That's 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 a big determining see. factor for me here. I don't see why there wouldn't be, but I also see why there wouldn't be. I'm you sure there I'm will saying? be one. At I some think there point. will be. I think there will be. Look at Okami. Yeah, but this also is, is now that uh, you know this is owned by Microsoft. Mm-hmm. That this might that might change. Mm-hmm. So that whole that whole idea. Like legit Okami HD on Switch should have had a hard copy and it didn't and it did on all the other on the other two platforms. Um, that that's really my only concern here. Is that is just be- do you think that's just because it costs more money to manufacture a cart? Maybe I don't know. Or the size of the game? No idea. I mean, I I bought a hard copy of Okami. I imported the shit out of that, but right. Um, it, it was too pretty not to. Uh. But it's it's going to be a big determining factor for me as to whether or not because I still haven't picked it up and gotten to play it yet. I've just stared at it and gone, I really want to fucking play this. And uh, it whether or not it gets a hard copy on Switch is the determining factor as to whether or not. I, oh, you shut the fuck up. <laughs> Why should whether or not it has a hard copy determine whether or not you play the game? I'm sorry, I just oh, don't no, understand no, no. it. I'm going to play the game regardless. Okay. It just okay. Determines okay. Where I'm playing the game. Okay. Because if there's no hard copy, I'm gonna get it on my Xbox. Okay. Because that's what that I was. Will have hard copy. Okay. That's what I. I sorry, I misunderstood the way you were kind of explaining <laughs> it. Made me think you weren't gonna play the game at all because there oh, wasn't no. a hard copy. It's okay. Okay. Fucking play. Then I then I take that back. Then I take back my. Blah, 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 blah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> You're snarky. My, uh-huh. my snark. Oh my god, you use the word snarky too? Oh my gosh, I always talk about me. I'm snarky, and everyone looks at me like, what the hell does that mean? I'm always snarky. Snarky. Yeah. Anyhow, sorry. Okay, so yeah. I apologize. I apologize. That, that was total left field. Um, <laughs> also, uh, I won't call it entirely left field, just kind of unknown and unexpected. Was uh oh what the hell was it the the platinum one? Give me the name Astral, here. Astral Chain. That's the one. Astral Chains. That looks cool as shit. I know, and no one's talking about that online as much. Yeah, what the fuck? It's what Platinum Games have been doing for the last two years. Mm-hmm. Well, that and theoretically or hypothetically Bayonetta. Yep. So. <laughs> yeah. Which I'm really surprised at this point that we're seeing this this new IP from Platinum before we're seeing anything on Bayonetta 3. I, I'm not, honestly. Because they released Bayonetta 1 and 2, mm-hmm. and they're trying to have a cadence of these releases. Yeah. And this is a new IP. This was a perfect time to announce this, I think. Yeah. Plus, if it doesn't work real well, they can bring out Bayonetta 3 and, you know, right. recoup some of their stuff well, so didn't they mention about bayonetta 3 too that yeah, they're hard they at did. work on it and yeah. it's coming along good yeah mm-hmm. um oh what else did we have in there there i know there was a bunch i was i was excited about the marvel ultimate alliance yes. that reminds mm-hmm. me very much looking at the gameplay reminds me of one of my favorite uh x-men the x-men legends game on the gamecube uh-huh. right right um in that style of gameplay and teaming up and oh, yeah. uh and then Fighting, all the on, so. all the online options you're going to have, which are yes. good. You can play online. You can play locally. You can mm-hmm. play online and locally. Yeah. Locally. So that one that one looked like fun. Uh, Bloodstained, the uh, platformer I'm so that looks ready like for that game. That looks I'm like a so cat- ready. That one that one really piqued my interest, and I'm thinking, okay. Well, it looks like Castlevania because it's made by uh, Iga. Yes. Yeah. 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 But it just it looks like it. I'm ready for that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It, Let's see. I am excited about the new Dragon Quest game. I was going to not, ask not Builder, to... not Builder Two. I mean, uh, Dragon Quest Eleven. <laughs> I mean, Dragon Quest. Yeah, Dragon Quest Eleven S. <laughs> what I thought was interesting is how they said you can, and I don't know why you would want to do this. I like the three D aspect of it. Why would you want to go back to two D and play old school? I uh, mean, the, ask the 3D... everybody that bought Octopath Traveler. 
That is true. That is true. Okay, that is true. I mean, nothing wrong with it because, but I just, I thought that the visuals on the 3D version were stunning. And that's kind of like the Dragon Quest I always dreamed of playing. So, right. right. Um, but that's just me. But I am excited about that. That looks, that looks amazing. God, I miss Dragon Quest so bad. <laughs> so, it, yeah, it's called Dragon Quest XI S Echoes of an Elusive Age Definitive Edition. <laughs> <laughs> I love it when they this have all Japanese these. Japanese <laughs> government now scrambles to try and plan a new national holiday on their calendar, right? Because <laughs> everybody, uh, everybody's going to call it sick. Yeah, yep. I mean dr- the Dragon Quest Builder too. I mean it's like Minecraft with Dragon Quest themes. But just I think mean, now, that's... though, everybody doesn't have to call out sick. They can just bring their Switch with them to work exactly. now. Exactly. Right, and exactly. then just not get paid and not do anything. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> I mean. Hi, Everyone, if productivity will be at an all-time low at work, but at least attendance will be there. <laughs> I am looking forward to the uh, Damon X Machina demo. That yeah. looks like, like fun. I cannot wait to download that and play that. That looks like a fun game. Oh, oh. yeah, I, I downloaded that. I did not play it. But, and then you're going to be able to maybe get on a list to get a uh, prototype mission <laughs> to play. Mm-hmm. So that would be cool. Yep. But what else? Oh, Disney's, uh, what? Zoom Zoom. <laughs> yeah, festival. Which, yeah, uh, why yeah, that, that was, even like, there? Well, you can use that grip you bought. Or did you get that grip where you pulled it out? No, it still hasn't fucking shown up yet. Really? Yeah. You ordered that what? Like six? I eight, didn't. Eight Eddie did. Stuff? He ordered a pair of them. Oh, so he's got both of them. So. Yeah, but he hasn't gotten <laughs> it yet. Oh, I, that's what he's telling you. He's probably out there. Oh. <laughs> okay, no, yeah. So he, he, knows, he and I would both be playing fucking Ikaruga right now. Right, right. There was another. Oh shoot! I'm trying to think of what else was out there that I saw that I wanted to play. Dang it! No, I mean it, this direct was really good. I mean, I, I like the Tetris 99. We were right. trying to talk about that before we went back uh, from break, but uh, um. That's kind of a surprise, but not really. And now when you kind of think about it, you're like, I think that'll be fun. Okay. It's just, we, you know, again, why haven't they, we were talking about this, like, why haven't they said this sooner? Like, they should have done this years ago. Right. <laughs> <coughs> well, I mean, to be fair, we we did have a solid online Tetris game with Tetris DS. Never played it. <clears throat> Best I didn't even know about it. Made. Well, probably because I didn't really have a DS, so... Greatest Tetris I, game ever. I, I played Tetris Blitz on my iPad, which was, that was a lot of fun. But, I you, mean, it's... It, you rock solid need to check out Tetris DS. If I had uh, a DS, I would. All the all the modes were just incredibly genius. Um, they, they got super creative with everything. It's definitely one of the highlights of the DS that I cannot recommend enough. So, um, oh. what else we have? We uh, do 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 do. Oh, there's something I'm missing. Yeah, there's a few things. I think um, Onanaki. Oh, oh yeah, that was it. That was the one I was trying to think uh, of. RPG. Yeah. And but um, I mean the last Jackson. one. I mean, really, it comes down to the last one, the one that was kind of, I didn't even know was in the, the, there. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> the Le- Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. No, uh, we comment. knew something was going on. They've been talking about that for See, a I while. See, I didn't. I didn't. But then again, there, maybe there's... I don't pay attention to the news because I'm so busy with Fortnite. <laughs> yeah. No. It's okay. It's better to get it like this anyway. Then you're not, you're just, you're like, okay, cool. Uh, you I'm go back excited for here. it. Yeah, you go back about a year or so, and there there were like job postings for people to. They were looking for people to remake uh, a two D Zelda. It, it was actually oddly specific in that job posting. Mm. It right. circulated a while back, but so it was really just kind of a question of which one they were going to do. Um, but yeah, so we we now know that it's uh, it's Legend of Zelda: Link's Awakening from uh, the Game Boy. Uh, that's coming to the Switch with a super, super toned down uh, look to it. And don't get me wrong, it's uh, officially prettier than the Game Boy game. 
But that being I think said, it looks fun. I, I I disagree. I'm not saying it doesn't look fun. I'm saying visually it looks no. awful. No, it does not. I it think it looks does. great. Oh my like, gosh! Why would you not take at least the base engine from uh, or the the base graphics engine from Link Between Worlds and use that? I have no idea how they were doing this and if they were scaling it or if it was intended to be a 3DS game and then they just you know swapped engines out on it to make it look pretty on the Switch. I mean, I, I have no idea. I think it looks pretty. I, I think personally... it looks good. I personally like the aesthetic. Like I, yeah. I was talking to Larry before, I said, you know, I, they can take a, a, you know, an artistic view with the aesthetic however they want, as long as the gameplay mechanics are well done. Yeah. And I think it fits the game. I'm sorry, I, I don't expect it to be like a Link Between Worlds or it's not a main because line. it's it, it's not the same game. It's yeah, it's not. It's a different game. I expect there to be a different aesthetic to it. I don't want it to look like a Link Between Worlds. I want it to look like. Link's Awakening. And Frankly, I... I will say what I'm really disappointed in is they opened up with that awesome, you know, little uh, snippet of animation. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. Like, give me something 2D that looks like that. Where's that at? That's I wouldn't what I be surprised. Right well, that's probably going to be all the cutscenes. Sure. I'm sure that's that'll be, be the cut- fucking jarring as shit. Yeah. Maybe. I'm looking forward to it. I, I want to see know. more. I want to see more of it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I'm going to get it because it's a Zelda game. Got to get the Zelda games. I just hope they start bringing if the, if they're doing this, I'm hoping that they start bringing back some of the other ones like the Oracle games um, to the Switch, the Oracle games, all the handheld games, because I have not played any of them except for I did play Link's Awakening and um, then and then uh, Link Between Worlds. But there's a lot of the other ones I wanted to play that I never got a chance to because I didn't have a DS. So, you know, Actually, like Phantom what, I would say what needs to happen. They need to bring uh, the Oracle games as a collection and include the third uh, yes. Oracle game. Yes. Get it made and get it out. Right. Yes. Mm-hmm. That's what needs to happen. That is true. Yes. I I will concur with that one. Yep, that would so, be good. But it's not yeah. happening, so this no, is what we're getting. Not. Right. How okay. do you know it's not happening? Well, I we, mean, not right now. Well, no, not right now, but I mean, we never thought we'd get the uh, remake of Majora's Mask. Right. We didn't get a remake. We got a remaster. Or a remaster, whatever the fuck. <laughs> Words matter, damn it. To quote Lord Rifa. You can't say what you mean, then you can't possibly mean what you say. And then what else? Um, Starlink getting an update. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. More, more Star Fox missions and fuck yes, please. Yep, you'll be able to play as uh, all of them now: Felco, Peppy, Slippy, and then you, uh, <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Somebody had that on sale for twenty bucks for the starter kit too, just this past week. Uh, yeah, I got my Best Buy. Yeah, but I for the switch, I don't think it was. I think it was twenty nine, if I remember right. And I think the twenty dollars was like the PS four version, if I remember right. Huh. I'm not sure. I'm not it's sure. still not a bad price. No, no, I mean it's a good price. They lowered the prices and all everything for that game. Mm-hmm. There's there's a lot of game to love there too. Yeah. 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 Yep. And then we're gonna get some more DLC for um, Super Smash Brothers or update, I should say, mm-hmm. update three point Yeah. They didn't yeah, that say was a great non-announcement. I know. Update 3.0, what's in it? Yeah. No- nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, DLC is out, and the Joker from Persona is coming. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Everybody, yep, so. They just did that. I mean, I'm sure the competitive community is kind of pissed off that they didn't say anything else about it, but so they probably don't have it totally locked down yet, what they're doing. Right. That's um, usually what happens. <laughs> So. I think that was pretty much it. There might have been I a few so. others. Oh, Rune Factory, but I've never been into that. So, mm-hmm. I mean, at all. I yeah, don't. and then they... Isn't that the one that's the fourth one? And then they, yeah, then the fifth is Then coming. they tease the fifth, yeah. Yeah. So there's like four people that are love, or maybe more than that, but I I honestly have not ever got into it. Yeah. So can't really speak to it too much. So. But oh. it was a good direct. I thought there was a lot to get excited about, really. Solid. 
And then everybody's favorite, you know, there was, um, there's a bunch of other stuff like, you know, um, Mortal Kombat 11. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And Unravel 2. Uh, Dead Before Daylight. Is that what it is? Yeah, Dead Before Daylight. Dead uh, dead, dead by Daylight. Dead by Daylight. Mm. Uh, Unravel 2, I'm surprised it took this fucking long. Like, right. And I'm also surprised they didn't pack it together with the first one because those games Mm -hmm. both totally belong on switch Mm -hmm. it's the right aesthetic it's the right vibe it it feels right at home it would be good probably a money thing as always so yeah and then um everybody's favorite that we've all been asking for for a real long time was assassin's creed 3 remastered (laughs) Uh (laughs) i don't know about you but that is the one that i wanted so well i'm just disappointed that we're not getting like the oedipus collection (laughs) <laughs> Sorry, it it was still in my head because of probably last week's episode. Oh my god! It was there. <sighs> so, a couple other like just a few weird ones like we're getting that grid auto sport, so we're getting like a oh yeah, the... getting like a realistic. Right. I mean, personally, I was impressed by the graphics on it mm-hmm. because I didn't know if the Switch could do even that that kind of realistic look to it. But was that actual gameplay though? If right, I'm here's... saying, I don't know. I doubt yeah. it. Yeah. That's Probably just what, beginners, what you know. needs to happen. Microsoft's got this new amazing partnership thing going with Nintendo. Mm-hmm. We just we need like ports a go. Mm. Okay. Have these awesome cutscenes, and then it just cuts out to look like pole position. Is that what yeah. you're saying? <laughs> <laughs> that was a great it. game. Yeah. I know. I love pole shit. position. Yep. <laughs> Man. Hell, bring back Outrun. Oh gosh! Oh, that, that was great too. <laughs> I love that loop. Love no, that, that was that was hard driving. That's what I'm thinking of. You th- hard driving. I want Rad Racer. Bring me back yeah. Rad Racer. Spy Hunter. Fuck yeah! With the that 3D was just popping in my head too. Mm-hmm. No, Rad Racer with the 3D glasses. Got to have that uh, red blue oh. going. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> with the power we- glove. Got to have the power glove too. <laughs> For me personally, I just think the so whole fair. the whole thing was pretty good. It's a pretty good direct. I mean, yeah. it was worth the wait till till now. Yeah. So there's enough there to keep us busy. That's for sure. I, I honestly so. think part of the reason that the I, I suspect that they wanted to do this direct or it intended on doing a direct in January, and I I really I wouldn't be surprised if they kicked the can down the road a little bit to now just because they were debating what to do whether or not to go here's the prime trilogy right like i i seriously gear i can almost guarantee you that conversation was going on somewhere in the bowels of nintendo i think so going, okay we've totally fucking uh foobarred this and prime four isn't happening for at least a couple years so do we go we get that you're all disappointed, but, you know, we want you to, you know, we know that you want some some love, like, right now, so here's this. Or do we bank it and go with our original plan and drop the trilogy six to eight months before Prime 4 and just mm-hmm. hold it? So, I, I almost guarantee you that's why this took so fucking long to happen. Or are they saving the a reveal of the Prime Trilogy for something like E3 or yeah. later? I, or... I, I think the only way it happens at E3 is if there's enough continued outcry, give us something Metroid already. Like, it's got to be loud, vocal, and consistent between now and E3. What if they come yeah. up and say, we're going to be Metroid news, but we're gonna, you're going to do a 2D... Side scroller Metroid again. Done. So I'd be fine it. with that too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like at this point, it would be one of three things. Uh, it would either be an HD'd up uh, compilation of the first four, um, like the actual numbered titles. So you've got one, two, three, and Fusion, or one, two, Super, and Fusion. Um, two, 
It's going to be the Fusion remake that Mercury Steam had originally pitched with. Or three. Somewhere, somebody is working on Dread. Okay. Hmm. That's very possible. Yeah, All I'm three sure. of those are entirely acceptable. Right. Hmm. Like, I, I legitimately... I think the only one that I could say that I want more only by a hair at this point than any of the other options would be Dread. I want Dread. I want to know what the fuck happens after Fusion. Somebody actually continued the story. God damn it. <laughs> I hear you. Like, I'm pumped. I'm hyped for Prime 4, but it doesn't actually expand the story. It just packs more in between here and here. Right, right. You want you want to know what happens after everything. Fuck right. yeah. Right. There's a you. shit ton of potential in there. And right now it's all being fucking squandered. I just don't mm-hmm. know if it, if it what it has to do with it. if it just they don't have a good idea or, you know, I just <laughs> I just don't have I just don't know. I don't know what their conversations are like. Yeah. Uh, it'll be a fly on the wall in that room. But yeah. that's, that's neither here nor there, though, because right now it's not fucking happening. No, no, not yet. It will. It will. Sooner or later. But, yeah. yeah. And I think I think that's pretty much it. I think we covered all that. Yeah. Well, maybe that... one or two things we missed, but. Obviously, they didn't pique our interest, so. Right. <laughs> I think we covered what. What really stood out? Cover the big shit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Which was most shit. of it. Yeah, I and mean, that was most shit. of it. <sighs> oh my gosh! Dang it! I need to go play more Apex Legends. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so but, that's that's good enough for for this well, week. Well, I mean, and also the news about um, from Team Cherry. Just a real quick shout out on that because I know you guys. Oh, I oh know. that's tomorrow. Yeah, yes. tomorrow. Sorry, I didn't want to let so go without that. Gonna, so just real quick, <laughs> do you think it's going to be DLC? Uh, it, I, I expect it to be paid DLC. Okay. okay. Because yeah, because everything did, else they, they were done with the rest of their free DLC that was yeah. yeah part of their stretch goal stuff from Kickstarter. Right. So I fully expect this to be paid DLC. Mm-hmm. I am genuinely curious as to how this comes together with the existing game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what's it going to be? And maybe get a physical release for Switch with everything? (laughs) Not happening. Uh, It'd it'd be the right fucking time. I mean, Lord knows that's, you know, when we we had a club on way back uh you know they said that that was literally the only thing holding them up for doing a hard copy for shovel knight is that all the dlc wasn't out and finished yet right um that being said hollow knight's run into some problems uh historically with hard copy because there was actually a deal on the table that a, a physical release was happening and apparently the uh, the printer publisher, whoever the fuck it was, uh, the whole thing fucking uh, fell through. And poof, there it went. But as I understand it, the, the rights are still with Team Cherry to find another publisher. Right. And uh, they, they did say that they were looking at options, trying to see if there was a way to get it done for a reasonable amount. But... Yeah. So I mean, I mean, it's, we'll it's not it's not completely dead, but it's definitely no. radio silent. Would be nice to talk to him, but I know that it's because there's three of them. Right. That's it. That's the whole company. Three people. Mm-hmm. Well, so. and now seeing that they're coming out with this, um, with with this new content, possibly that may be why there were some issues with going to the physical copy, like you said, with the Shovel Knight release. Um, go into hard copy and they wanting to wait till the DLC, maybe that was part of this. So, right. I mean, there's, we don't know. We just don't know, but you'll yeah. get your physical copies as much as you don't need them. You will get them. Right. I, it's them. 
I must have them. I need. I know. I know you do. I still don't get it, but I do in the way. So. Well, I mean, I'll just give you this one thing. Four days ago, um, I did read this, and I forgot to mention this on Nintendo Life, that the ESRB did give Hollow Knight a rating of mm-hmm. e- E10+. Plus. Now, they don't rate digital releases. Hmm. Interesting. So, I swear I thought they did. No, they don't. They don't really. Yeah, they don't give digital oh, digital only releases an actual ESRB rating. Really, I did not know that. You know, because somebody so, was yeah. Because I had somebody ask on stream when I was playing it what the rating was, and I was able to go find that. So I just assumed that that was for all that, digital games. I, well, I think what happens is it's more like a developer thing than they're saying. Okay, oh, this okay. is a like a teen game or whatever. But so it'll be interesting. Oh, okay. That I did not know. So hopefully we'll find out tomorrow. Yep. Interesting. Definitely looking forward to that. So, um, cool. anything else tonight, kids? No, I, I don't believe so. I think we got okay. it. Right on. So let's wrap this bitch up right then and there. <laughs> um, you can, of course, always find us at our home on Podbean at World One One dot Podbean dot com. All spelled out, all one word. Uh, catch us as well on uh, your device uh, platform of choice with Google Play Music or iTunes, or if you need something a little more agnostic, you can also go the Spotify route, um, or you can always just be awesome and totally download the uh, the Podbean app and uh, go ahead and subscribe to us right then and there. Um, you, We've also got the, uh, the excellent and uh, ever-growing YouTube channel. And all the uh, don't don't forget all the uh, fine hard work that Kathy puts into our delightful uh, Twitch channel, like Facebook page, and uh, go ahead and uh, follow us on their Twitters. Um, yeah, I, I think that covers it. I want to say thank you to uh, my cohorts in Criminal, uh, Kathy and uh, Josh, and everybody that uh, stuck it out this long. Um, if if you did, congratulations. That's an hour of your life you'll never get back. <laughs> oh my gosh. Be more positive, Larry. Jeez. Well, he's, he's positive. They're not getting it back. So uh, I, this is very true. Oh my gosh. I, I can absolutely confirm you will not get a refund on that hour. <laughs> it was a good hour. Oh my gosh. Stop it. So, oh Lord. Uh, we need to talk about this. Uh, we could totally do another hour talking about just this. <laughs> I got I got You're games I gotta play. I got well I I could we could, but you know I don't know if you have that extra hour. See I'm I'm awake and I'm ready to go, but you guys all seem like you're ready to hit the hay. So I know you got busy I stuff to do. A couple hours, but yes, anyway. So anyhow. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Well, that's it for us. Uh, Josh, Kathy, say goodnight, Gracie. Good night, everybody. Peace.